Behold the glory of Kinragoth, oak crafts, long may it stand. After toiling in obsession for far too long, I have succumbed to my own desires and set off on a journey with seven dwarves, a cartload of provisions, and the hope for greatness. I have started a game of Dwarf Fortress, and I am happy. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the eight other fortresses I started just to learn at least a little bit about this game before I made a new video. They exist, I would tell you their names, but they've been cast into oblivion for a cleaner start in this video. So welcome to Oak Crafts, my new obsession. I'm hoping this fortress doesn't fail immediately, so look forward to at least a few episodes as I learn the game and take feedback from you guys, the viewer. The feedback on the first episode was great, it really helped me get started, and thank you for everyone suggesting some stuff. I'm also using a tile set here. I know some people are against tile sets. It really helps me out. I might do a couple videos in just the basic ASCII, but for now, we're stuck with the tile set. Okay, first, let's meet our dwarves. Mebzuth Zazbomrek, our expedition leader. He's 59, and he dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Ragoth de Costman, our miner. He's 65 years old and he dreams of creating a great work of art. Kadol de Dokrathar, our woodcutter. She's 86 years old, but she's really slow to heal and extremely quick to tire. Toulon Goosey Laval, our mason. He is 77 years old, is a firm believer in the value of tradition and sees no value in holding back complaints. Aztesh Astrulush, our hunter, he is a casual worshipper of Nesteth style taupe. Cog Nicomoral, our butcher, he's 85 years old, dubious worshipper of Azen Mindsilver, the boulders of oiling. And finally, we've got Adim Larukulatar, our planter. She is a worshipper of Id and is 87 years old. I started out by making my woodcutter cut down a swath of land and began gathering some of the local flora as well. It appears my hunter fought a boar while I wasn't paying attention because there's blood everywhere and there's boar remains. I didn't see this happen, but apparently it did. I've made a couple fortresses on my journey since the first video, and I was genuinely surprised I happened to embark next to a mountain, finally. The past two games I started, I was on a completely flat plain, even though on the world gen it showed mountains, so on those ones I just had to dig straight down. I think I'm probably misreading the embark screen, but for now I'm just counting myself lucky. Now to make the first cut in our fine fortress. Here we'll do. Dig away! Well, the digging is set, time to make some room for the carpenter, a farm, mason, and a still. During my initial excavation, I made some poorly made stairs here. I don't know how to get rid of them. Um, eventually, I sent my leader here to channel these stairs out. He fell, got hurt, and I panicked, so I just got him out of there and made it so no one can go back there. Um, yeah, please help. Okay. Time to get some big old production set up. I dug down a few floors and got some decent stone and carved out four large rooms. Uh, for those who might think this looks familiar, I'm following uh, Perry Dexus Errant's walkthrough. Gosh, I hope I said that name right. If anyone recognizes the pattern, that's where it's from. So, just follow that. Wait, a ram is starving? Uh, well, I guess he'll find food eventually. I mean, there's a pasture out there. Wait, a horse is starving? Okay, something's off. Let me go check this pasture. Seems like only one horse. Where the... Oh, they're in a tree. Did they spawn here? Have they always been here? Okay, I'm just going to cut this down. I don't think anyone's going to get hurt. And done. Just a little bit of blood. Next up, I'm going to lay out the meeting hall here and also make a bunch of bedrooms for everybody to sleep in. Migrants! Let's hope they're not lazy and are expecting great accommodations! Okay, time to get this trade depot up and running. There's not enough room in either of the spots I want. And I think you can build walls, but I don't know how to do that right now, so I'll figure that out later. So I'll stuff it into this old storage room now that I've moved some of the stuff to the production floor. Let's take a look at their production floor here. I have a bunch of carpenters over here with a wood stockpile, although it seems like the carpenter keeps just going outside to get wood. I think I just have to make it so this is the priority pile. 
Then I've got some masons up there with all the stone. To the side uh, is a bunch of, I believe, uh, furnished goods, stuff like that. Um, later in this episode, I build a huge production floor, so a lot of this gets shifted around. Uh, but for now, that's kind of the basic layout. Next up after that is Outdoor Farms. This was another section in the walkthrough. So I kind of built this farm off of where the old farm is just to keep the planter in the same place. Um, put farms out there. I also removed a lot of, they said to remove the uphill stuff around the outside of your base. Although apparently it's changed where goblins can go over too high things now. That's something I really need to look into is like base protection. Uh, because I feel like a lot of that bad stuff's going to happen to me soon. So, uh, outdoor farm, built a wall around it, we'll see what happens out here. Got some uh, different veggies going, I still have my plump helmet stuff inside for the still, uh, so my dwarves can get plenty drunk while also eating their vegetables. And then who's this? Who's this? What's happening? Doran Ekudukulet? A diplomat? I'm so lost and now this guy's just hanging out at oak crafts taking my food and being my liaison to dwarf central i hate him okay i think we're going to trade but who cares more migrants look at this farm it's so good i know about 150 comments are going to tell me you should have done this should have done that which i'm perfectly fine with but look how good this farm looks i just ugh. Also, autumn was the perfect time to set up a farm. Autumn right before win winter. Oh, crap. Back inside, I set up some space for my fowl, which later I remembered I set up as a pen pasture so they have a place to rest. I forbid eggs from food storage because I need more babies, and immediately these turkeys are ready to lay. And finally, for at least this first video, I know it's been the most exciting follow-up, to the video where I didn't play Dwarf Fortress, uh, I am going to redecorate the meeting hall. Uh, I had to assign some guys in Dwarf Therapist, give them engraving or stone carving, uh, and they could finally work on the meeting hall. I expanded it out, carved some stuff, so that stuff's still carving. We'll be able to look at that in the next episode. Speaking of the next episode, engraving is going to get finished. There are some elves here. We're going to see what they're up to. And uh, hopefully maybe some more migrants. Who knows? And maybe some action. I'd love to get attacked or have something crazy happen before the next War Fortress update. So stay tuned for the next episode. It's coming soon. But until then, strike the earth. Hey, you caught me pretending to take a poop. If you liked our video, you should like, comment, and subscribe on it. That way YouTube knows we're awesome. Do it. I gotta wipe.